And here will be the spoils of the first off-screen catching expedition of the playthrough. Somewhat debatable if it's actually off-screen because I did, out of pure paranoia, record me catching all of these Pokemon. I threw out all the footage after I confirmed that I had not encountered a shiny, so I'm thankful for that. Uh, a couple of things towards the end here I actually caught in the morning, everything else I caught during the night. I was actually trying to record this segment earlier in the morning, like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, and um, in the middle of that I found out that the next update to Crystal Clear had come out, and so I was faffing about with that, because you get the ability to design your own like custom player sprites, and you can inject them into the game with a, with a on a, on a specific website. So I'm faffed about with that, tried to make a big dip. <laughs> it's working out pretty well. I, I might show that off at some point, but for the time being, i uh, just going to pick up this Nidoran up. Um, figured it might be useful for the first gym. I, if I'm going up against a team of six, then maybe this uh, probably a good idea to bring at least some temporary team members with. So this thing gets double kick at level nine, so I figured it might be useful unless they just smash me with like magnitudes and shit but um anyhow uh our first goal is to go and get some poker balls now that i think about it um and to correct myself on a statement i made in the previous segment uh they i was making the assumption that poker balls were still 200 bucks they are not they're worth 50 now and so I can go ahead and be incredibly obnoxious and buy Pokeballs 10 at a time and I get Premier Balls for the eventual shiny encounter. I don't know why I keep making the claim that it's going to happen. It's freaking unlikely. Especially since I opted against getting the version that had the 1 in 512 shiny rate. I have instead opted to just stick with the usual old 8192 to 1 rate. Just because I feel like it's a bit... 1 in 5 is a bit too cheap. Makes them feel a bit too cheap for me. So, starting off here with the Poker Radar, because every route has at least one Pokemon that you can encounter with the Radar, and once again, I have forgotten, forgotten to heal. <laughs> I did this with the previous attempt. I think this is like my seventh attempt recording this segment, just for numerous reasons, including my... Failure to commentate well. I guess the cobwebs are still sort of floating around the joint. And uh, that bee doo stopped me one pace short from where I wanted to be. So that's obnoxious. That's why the the uh, repels are here. I didn't want to have to use them, but yeah. Let's see how this works out. I'm not entirely sure, like, at what kind of, like, rustling grass patch I'm meant to walk into to have myself a shot at finding this um, radar exclusive mon. It apparently is a 22% encounter rate which I'm going to go ahead and call bullshit on because I did once succeed in encountering the thing but only after I'd blown through all 10 of my repels. I'd like to avoid that because there are a couple of other areas that I want to grab poker radar exclusive mons from so uh, what I'm going to do now since I've shown off the basis of the poker radar there's a different sort of rustling grass here which gives me a chance of getting the Pokemon I want and it still did not yield the correct thing um, you can through very convoluted techniques rack up a chain of uh, consecutive encounters to the point where it gives you quite a significant tilt at um, encountering a shiny um, and there's actually a very specific variety of um, rustling grass here that actually sparkles and if you want walk into that then you're guaranteed a shiny so that's pretty cool I've never been able to get that far I've I am absolute garbage when it comes to radar chaining shinies so that's probably not going to be something I show off in the playthrough uh, but for the time being I believe I'm about done with this rambling and I am going to let's first do that just to get rid of the glitchiness and I will cut back once I have encountered the thing I want to encounter here well there you go 
It, uh, last time I came across one of these, it ended up taking up all ten of my repels. Here, I think it only took up five. Ah, uh, but there are still two more other, two more Pokemon that I have to find through this method. I'll find them off screen, though, just because I've already shown off the whole shtick with use a radar and find something that you normally can't encounter in the wild otherwise. So, here we have Dodowo. It might be a bit obnoxious to catch. I mean, it I kind of consider it obnoxious to catch, even if it breaks out of a single ball, but that's just because it's early in the piece. And so now that is out of the way, uh, let me go ahead and drop this stupid thing in the PC. Uh, no, no, whatever, I'll sort that out once I'm done recording this segment. Okay, any, are you holding anything? No, you're not. So now comes the point where I pretty much have to bait and switch here. Baiting and switching is probably not the best idea for me right now. Um, geez, this is actually a pretty decent move set. Can I knock this thing out? No, no, I, 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 I can't. That's, uh, quite annoying. Probably should have grinded my team up, but I guess I'm just gonna have to bait and switch. This seems a lot more obnoxious in the beginning than it really, than most of, most playthroughs I've done in the past. I can't say I'm a huge fan of this idea, but whatever. Anyhow, our first regular trainer of the game has level 7s, which makes me wonder if baiting and switching is really a good idea here, considering they get a free hit on my peplop here. But, uh, I guess against a beater if it's not, like, the biggest deal. Now, provided I can get some flinch hacks going here, I should be able to kick this thing out. Oh, no, no. It is growled and defense cold enough for me to want to switch the hell out and divvy up the experience even further. To the point where I'm pretty sure Peplop was the only Pokemon that gained a level off of that beatoof. So that's rather stupid. Uh... Can this thing please just kill something? Oh god. Okay, it spammed the crap out of Howl, which could have ended horribly, but then it decided not to actually take advantage of the plus three attack there. I hope this doesn't get too repetitive, this whole just going back to heal after just about every battle. The speeding up should hopefully, like, alleviate that a bit, but who the hell knows what's, how this is going to go down. Ugh. Okay, uh, bail the fuck out of there. Uh, might as well go here. Yeah, it's asleep, so I'm not going to bother with that. I think now I've got to start bait and switching my Eevee. Because at this stage, it's not going to get too many more levels. Going back here to heal, because I'm not too sure if there are any more trainers on this uh, second route. Looks like there's at least one. Wish I had more insightful commentary here, but it's me. I, I just kind of don't. So... Yay! It'll get better, I promise. Once I get up to, like first gym and I can start focusing solely on how I'm going to avoid losing the battle, um, then it might be slightly more interesting. Uh, Burmy, I think Nidoran can just handle Burmy by itself. Protect certainly doesn't help the cause. Wait. How is... Oh, because Burmy's a pure bug. Nah, it... it Okay. I thought Burmy was, uh, Bug Grass, but no, that's, uh, Worm Adam's typing. It doesn't get that, and it, even then it doesn't get that typing unless it's using the Plant Cloak. Come on. Hit. Hit. Kick its ass. Kick its ass. You son of a bitch. It frickin' two-shotted me from, like, sweet bugger all HP. Oh, that's so stupid. 
Okay, um, do I want to get rid of Leer or Focus Energy? I kind of want to keep Pack just for type coverage. Eh, I'll go Leer. Focus Energy I only have to use once to get, to potentially get the benefit from, whereas Leer I've got to like, against Rock types I've got to stand out like two or three times in order to get some damage in with Double Kick. What's uh, this Nidoran's nature? Uh, naughty. Okay, that's not too bad. Plus attack is always nice to have, especially with the whole double kick stick going on. Are you a trainer? No, you are not. Thank you for telling me shit that I already know. I believe that's the second potion I picked up. I actually got one off of the zigzag group when I caught it. Oh, hello. Well, yeah, that's four on me, but there's still, like, another freaking half a box full in the PC. Where are you taking me? Hi. Yeah. I forgot this guy was in this game. This is actually his debut appearance. Mr. Frickin' David Tennant. Fucking eccentric detective from some other bloody foreign country. What do you call it? it, it, it it's Looker. Yeah. And by Looker, I don't mean somebody who looks. I mean... I, I, I think it is firmly established that Looker is actually meant to describe his actual looks and not, you know, someone who looks around. Although, as a detective, he probably does do a, look, a lot of looking around. So, Looker's just... A, perfect name for him. It's actually, I'm, I, I, it's probably better than the Japanese name, I don't know. The Japanese name is Handsome, which again alludes to his looks. I just, nah. I think I should probably go and talk to Faith, because I think the parcel's got like a town map in it. Oh, hey. Wait. Uh, now what is this? Scope lens. Scope lens, I think, increases increases crit rate. Um, which I will totally just give to Nidoran, and then grab whatever it is that Zigzagoon's got. Antidote. It's not like that's a huge achievement. Oh yeah. This guy just gives you the poke edge instead of putting you through the challenge, which is nice. Uh, makes me wonder if the clowns are even around still. Doesn't look like they are. So, why are you in front of this building? Okay. Normally you'd have immediate access to that place, but now I guess you don't. Is this the GTS? Uh, no, this is the poke edge company. GTS is somewhere. I think it's in this city. Wait, no, it's over here, isn't it? Yeah, this place. Oh, very, very good. Very uh, discriminatory there. Yeah, I know a lot about Pokemon, Max. Isn't there, like, some battles I can do here? Let's throw a save. Okay. That works, I suppose. Uh, no, you're not getting... You're not going anywhere near Sand Attack. I if I can bloody help it. Focus Energy. Focus Energy plus Scope Lens gives me a pretty decent shot of getting a crit here. Fair dues. Um... What? I, I, I like, paid absolutely no attention to that. Did that Psyduck just somehow tank that second double kick and just kill me? If I had a revive, I would totally just completely waste it on Nidoran just so Nidoran could kick its ass again. That was kind of bullshit. Do you have something? Okay, you seem to have something. I was about to say bite will do the trick, but it's part fairy. Yeah, I... 
don't think I actually brought that up at all in this playthrough so far, but um, the fairy type is actually a thing in this game. There's also a number of moves that I can talk about as well. Some of the some older generation moves got replaced with some newer gen generation ones. Let me have a look at this thing. I've got my laptop chilling out next to me here. Come off of it. Come off it. Why do these little shits have potions? And why are they smart enough to use scent potions? Yeah, that's kind of bullshit. What do you... Do you have something to give? Oh. Okay. I guess I'll just keep this egg on me. Yeah, I think everything's had its egg cycle reduced a significant amount, so... I should probably just walk left and right here until this thing hatches. Get out of my way. Stupid, inconsiderate arsehole. Alright, what is it? Tiger P. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh, not going to be using Tiger P. I I have used it at least twice before, so... I'm going to go ahead and put that fucking thing away. Is that pure fairy? Yeah. It got Serene Grace as well, which is always nice. Okay. How, how, am I, how, how long am I in this? It's 17 minutes. Okay. Um, so I guess now is about as good a time as I need to talk about the re replacement moves. Um, if you are hoping to use, like, Latios or Latias, I think those are, like, maybe post-game only. I'm not too sure. I haven't checked out the legendary locations list yet. Um, but if you're planning on using those, uh, to... What the hell is... Oh, loud, loud and obnoxious um, things happening out in other areas of the house. Anyhow, um, you're a kind of shit out of luck because both Lost of Purge and Mist Ball have been uh, booted from the, get from the game in favour of Dazzling Gleam and Disarming Voice, respectively. Had to take something out to put some fairy moves in there, I guess. Moonblast is also a thing as well, and that ended up replacing Lunar Dance, which I think is exclusive to Cresselia. It would make sense if it was exclusive to Cresselia. And then, what else do we have here? Hopefully I can take my mind off of this for just long enough. Horn Drill got replaced by Drill Run, which I think is a ground move. Constrict got replaced by Icicle Crash. I'm not too sure what Icicle Crash even is. I think that's a move that does more damage if you have low HP. I'm not 100% sure. Um, Brine, a move that I know for a fact does more damage if you're on low HP, has been replaced with Scald. That'll be a nice move to put on my water type, I guess. Although I can eat very just as easily put freaking Surf on it. Uh, barrage, because everybody loves Barrage. That's not in the game anymore. It got replaced with Draining Kiss, so another useful fairy move there. He went for the switch as well, and I ended up bloody just sort of unintentionally predicting the switch. And I've got the type advantage here as well, so let me get in a focus energy here. Oh boy, that's that's not that's not good at all, is it? Okay, well I need to get the Oh shit. Am I about to get my ass handed to me here? Yeah, I'm about to get my ass handed to me here. Well shit. You're actually going to frickin' give me pointers on how to be a good trainer. Dude, that motherfucker cursed its way to a win. I literally had nothing to deal with that. That was pretty shit. Okay, uh, moving on. Raj replaced by Draining Kiss, Bomb, Bomb, Skull, Blah, Blah, Blah. Sandtomb got replaced with Bulldoze. Submission got replaced by Play Rough. Twister got replaced by Hurricane. Bolt Tackle. That's gone as well. That got replaced with Wild Charge. So, there you go. Okay. So, that uh, battle was extremely disappointing. I was not expecting to get uh, Curse Swept right there. So, I guess I could go and explore the rest of this place. I'm not too sure if I can... How, f how much longer I have to go until I find the at least the old rod. Uh, let's see if I can find the damn thing. Uh, old rod. Uh, 
Uh, old rod. Where is it? Route 218. What the hell's Route 218? Uh, that's 219. Ah, 218. Okay. Can I actually get through here? Yes, I can. Oh, hang on. Do you give do you give me the rod? Cool. And just gives me dive balls. Okay. I'm not using dive balls. I'm going to use regular poker balls because screw using anything that's uh, actually good at catching stuff. All right. Not that I expect much out of this uh, old rod, but we'll give this a bit of a shot. What do we got? Oh boy, Finneon. Everybody's favorite fish. Things freaking level 10 though, which is considerably higher than I was expecting. Don't knock my EV out, please. Okay, so I haven't Finneon. Is there anything else I can pick up? As I go back to the wild Pokemon list here. Well, yeah, there's Magic Hub, of course. Can't say that was uh, can't say that was unexpected. Oh, good, and the Magic Hub learns tackle earlier, and so it just knocked EB out anyway. But not just the deck. Cool. All right, so we have d done got ourselves a fish. Can we maybe find out? Okay, whatever. Two, one, eight. Alright, what the hell's this? Old Rod, Affinion, Magic Carp, Staryu. Okay, that's pretty cool, I guess. I'm not going to use it since I used it in Fire Red Omega, but that's something interesting, I guess. Okay, um. Yeah, I'm not too sure if I can go any. How, how far up north can I go? I can at least enter the route. Let's see if there's anything worth picking up in here. Perhaps something that is not called Magic Carp. Perhaps something that is not called Magic Carp. Yeah, Goldeen is okay, I suppose. Provided it doesn't go and frickin' sweep my team by the time I'm ready to catch the damn thing. I notice that uh, they're using the Heart Gold Soul Silver Sprites for most, if not all, of the Pokemon in this game. So that seems pretty interesting. Okay, so that was a bit of a boring old way to add some padding to the segments. I don't know why I did that. I probably could have done that off screen, but... Uh, I'm going to do some grinding, I'm going to catch some more stuff off screen, and then we're going to start next segment with kicking Faith's ass. And, uh, yeah, if I go in far enough, I might knock over the first gym later, so we'll see what happens.